Circuit Python 6 beta is going on. You should download it and use it because now's your chance to get stuff fixed. A lot of people are using Circuit Python and a lot of people are using it in all sorts of ways we never expected. So get the latest beta, um, flash your devices and more. And uh, if you're wondering what's going on in the world of Python on hardware, you should go to Adafruit Daily and sign up for the Python on Hardware newsletter. Um, this week, highlights in the newsletter include Halloween it's projects. Halloween. We're doing Halloween ha projects. Doing Halloween projects. I think one of the things that, um, and I wanted to, I'll go over a couple things in the newsletter. But one of the things I wanted to to, to focus on, um, Katni was doing the uh, audio version of the newsletter each week, and I, you know, I think I can get back to it now too for a segment in the show, and we're focusing it on like what things can you actually purchase and then like do stuff with Python and now Halloween. And one of the reasons we want to talk about that is it's really hard to get those spooky sounds you want that, that specific pattern for your costume. And it's always been really hard. It was hard yeah. to do with microcontrollers. If you have to download an IDE, if you have to do a lot of stuff. embed it as a header file. Yeah. Oh, so, complicated. so we have a Halloween countdown display matrix, creature eyes, monster mass, Halloween, we have Circuit Playground for Halloween and Jack Lanterns, and we have you know all sorts of things that you can do with Circuit Python where you don't even need to know how to code, but it gets powerful really fast. So if you want to have um, a robotic project that like moves and it says a scary sound and has lights, you could do that with Circuit Python Python um, really easily. And that's one of the things that was always hard to do with these like DIY Halloween projects. And I've been working on this for like. Almost 20 years now, all the way back in Make, in the world yeah. of Make, where it's just like, wow, Halloween electronics is hard to do. That's why pe a lot of people just buy, like, off-the-shelf stuff, because you can't just, there wasn't anything that you could just, like, drop a sound, drop an image, and now you're done. Yeah. So anyways, um, there's a lot more CircuitPython music uh, projects this week. Uh, some events, Hacktoberfest is every year. Um, it'll be even more virtual. Uh, DigitalOcean sponsored this. So if you want to do some open source projects, um, check that out. Um, Pi Ladies, uh, we have some news about their latest events coming up and more. Scott's doing a really big deep dive this week on Friday, and uh, he said he's uh, adding this thing in this notes file, so it time codes to the URLs. Yeah. Check that out. Um, we have some back to school stuff. I'll actually just say it straight up: like our back to school sales are way different this year <laughs> than they were yeah. every other year because schools aren't going back in the same way. So um, this is one of those times where if you have a lot of at home learners, pick up a Circuit Playground Express. You can have them. Um, you can flash it, and now they're using MakeCode, or you can just flash it, and now they're using uh, Python, um, CircuitPython. So um, other bits of news around the web, um, you can see some of the things that we got out, like our Cutie Pie board. There's um, sensors that you can uh, – the Cutie Pie got out pretty fast. Um, people have already used it. There's an internet calibrated clock using ESP32 S2 using CircuitPython beta. Once again, that's the latest and greatest chip. That it's Wi-Fi. It's ESP32. And it runs CircuitPython, so check that out. Some Python for Kids resources. There's a new driver for the SparkFun STU USB 5500, 4500 USB delivery. You can get that, you can get that on Read the Docs. And um, you can check out just more stuff that we have in the bigger world of Python. It's all connected. And then we also cover some of the new products we have and more. Um, check out the number of libraries we have. Um, we're up to num uh, 273. Yay, we'll have and 300. Circuit Python.org slash downloads has all the boards well over 400. And then we have Blinka. So check that out. That is our Python on Hardware news for this week. A couple more events. Um, you know, a lot subscribe, of these are. Subscribe. You'll yeah, get it in your mailbox. A lot of these time. are virtual now. And then, as always, you know, there's a lot of people that are looking for um, new opportunities. So yep. we have our jobs board. You check that it's out free. as well. Okay. So that's our Python on Hardware news this week.